Good morning again. Good to be with you. We're in the run-up to Pentecost and uh, I've always enjoyed the particular tradition of the Dutch Reformed Church to have services in this week uh, in the prelude before Pentecost. Yesterday we were speaking about the Holy Spirit as God's empowering presence in our lives. Now think of that. I think if there's one thing that we really underestimate, it is what God can do for us, that we're not left alone. Jesus told his disciples that he was going to be going, but when he left, another one, another helper, another counselor, I like the word helper in fact, some people call the comforter, but I like the helper was going to come. He was going to help us to live. God helping us to live the empowering presence of God. Now it seems that that's something we have forgotten. And it's a gift. Not it, but God himself wanting to give himself to you and me. The Holy Spirit, the living dynamic reality of God. What has happened to us? that we live such feeble Christian lives when God says, I want to be there with you, I want to be there for you, I want to be there in you. I must confess that I think sometimes my own life is a very poor reflection of those words. So Jesus tells his disciples in the, in the, in the Gospel of Luke, Luke, what father among you having a child who asks him for uh, a fish will give him a snake? Or what dad is there who uh, has a child who asks him for an egg and the dad gives him a, what is it, scorpion? And Jesus goes on, if you, though we have many limitations and faults, know how to give good gifts to our children, how much more? will our Father in heaven give the Holy Spirit, that is, his own self, his own dynamic self, to those who ask him. It's an incredible thought. It's one reason why I enjoy being a Christian, because God says, do this, and I'll say, Lord, I'm going to try my best. He said, go for it. I will be with you. I will strengthen you. Know my empowering presence in your life. What's true for me is true also for us all. God bless you. May you know God's empowering presence in your life.